What up my dogs, welcome to Pushing Ladder on my mini account. Today, oh, I just realized I haven't said a single word today. That is crazy. I have gone the whole day, it is now 5 p.m. And I just went to the shops, I did a bunch of things, but I haven't said a single word the whole day. <laughs> that is crazy. But anyway, that's not the topic of today's video. Today's topic is my master plan to conquer YouTube. Now, when I started my, my main channel, I originally uploaded like daily clash content, which is kind of crazy that I'm... Oh, Good uh, log on that bomber there, which is kind of crazy that I'm going full circle now and playing Clash daily. I don't know how long the daily streak will last, by the way, so you better enjoy it while it's here. But essentially, I am back to uploading Clash Royale daily, and I couldn't be happier. And I'll tell you why. Because when I was uploading daily, daily Clash, I wasn't really getting views because I didn't know what I was doing, as opposed to now where I do know what I'm doing. And... So I got frustrated because I liked YouTube and I wanted to grow on YouTube, but I didn't want to just have to rely on being good at the game. Why do I not? Okay, I cannot lose log bait versus log bait right now. Now I know what I'm doing because back then I switched up my content by doing like skits and highly edited 24 hours of Clash Challenge, right? And then I finally saw some, some progress. So I, f I switched. So I basically ch changed the whole like train. I don't even know what I'm saying. Train. What's the direction of the channel towards focusing on edited content that was actually a lot of effort. Okay, that is very deep. So I'm just going to do this and save my log. And then I'm going to go for a Mighty Miner because he used his Ewiz. And then I'm going to go for a cheeky... Wait, he didn't use his log though. So I'm going to go like this. He's going to go for skeletons maybe. I'm going to go bang. Bang. Deep. Okay, he saw it. But still, Princess is going to get hits. He has to answer it. Dark Goblin. He's got Mega Knight? What the? Okay, at least we're winning now. And so basically, every all content on YouTube is so edited now. I, I hate it because I. That's why when, you, when that's why streamers I think are so talked about. Like you see all this streamer drama, and it's like streamers only get a certain amount of viewers compared to people who are on YouTube. Like there's some people on YouTube who have like 10 million subscribers who you've never heard of because they're just making brainless, highly edited, no one cares about content. But when it's with streamers, you actually care about them because they're real people and their content is them and people care about people. And that's something that took me a, a while to realize. And that's why I really like this channel because I, I mean, I can't believe the success we're having on this channel already um, with the amount of views we're getting on each video. But also like... It's just chill. It's me talking and it's a lot of fun. Although I don't know how long it's going to last. Not that it's going to last not much time, but daily. Especially because I'm going away soon, which I'll talk about in a future episode. And my master plan, essentially... I, I, can't, like, I have an idea of what I'm doing now, which is the difference between what I was doing before. And, okay, the wall break is... What? How did one bypass? Did he play it in a weird position there? Wait, if I do this... And then King Tower? How did that? Okay. And basically what I'm doing that's different is I know how thumbnails and titles work. I know how YouTube works as a whole. And so I can see some potential for growth. And I, lo I know a lot of people like you can't grow in Clash Royale like doing something like this or you can't get to 10 million subscribers. I mean, that's kind of a crazy goal. That's the dream though. But I just realized I have, I have lightning instead of rocket. It's not ideal. Hang on. Is he going to... Let me have that connection. Okay, hang on. Let me Goblin Barrel. And then Lightning, potentially. Yeah, get a hit! Okay, there we go. Because for the longest time on my my main channel, I wasn't getting any views. But then when I finally... I, I took the time to learn about YouTube. I spent like a whole year learning about it. And then I finally blew up. I blew up in the way I didn't know I didn't want to blow up. Because back then, I the Mr. Beast rise was kind of new. And I was learning all about how he kind of gained the system to get views. And I don't know about gain the system, but basically learned how to make better videos and how the system works. And unfortunately now my main channel, I feel like is just not what I had like dreamed for it to be when I was younger. Okay, that's gonna be lightning value. And so YouTube is called YouTube for a reason. And I feel like I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, not some kind of, I don't know, there are a lot of channels in the Clash niche. Pretty much every channel in the Clash niche, I'm going to be honest, is a channel I wouldn't want to have. I can't believe we've already taken this guy's tower, by the way. And so, that's why I really like this channel. Because I feel like I'm finally doing something that's actually about me. And it took time to get here because you, you have to... To make these kind of videos, you have to know what you're doing in the sense of... You have to know how YouTube works to have any success. You also have to have some kind of 
history on YouTube or something that people are coming for initially. And you need to be really motivated because otherwise you're just going to stop making them. And I, I think I'll always, as, as long as like we can get some success out of this and like I'll, I'll continue making these videos, but I think we can have success with these videos because there are people who literally just play Clash Royale on YouTube right now with a vertical screen, no face cam, and they can get, they can, it's proven they can get to like 100,000 views. And I know people are watching OJ for a lot of the time he's showing the new update or the new special decks to beat the challenges, but the fact that he can get like 100 to 200k just uploading daily casual challenges and stuff just shows that the roof for this type of commentary content could also be high, I feel like, with enough time and consistency. At least with someone like OJ's channel, the content isn't, it's obviously very well edited, but it's still, the differences between this channel and OJ's channel is his channel is very much about the game and the challenges because OJ very much likes the games. Why has this guy gone Mega Knight on the bridge first play? But anyway, OJ really likes the games. I also really like the games, but that's not what I want my content to be about. I don't want the content to be focused on the game. And that's something I have like, been struggling to put my finger on for a, the longest time. Ooh, princess with the snipe. Wait, why did she just give up there? I don't want my channel to be all about the gameplay. And that's what I like about this channel as well. But there aren't many channels in Clash Royale that aren't... Wait, come on. Oh, it's just not going to let me get the ability off. That's so disappointing. That are talking about themselves. Every, pretty much all channels on the Clash Royale sphere are all about the content, about gaining views. And the good thing is, I feel like a channel, to make a channel like this, or to make content like this, how am I, okay, we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do this. To make a channel like this, I feel like you have to be not money orientated. Cause I very much love YouTube. And so, wait, is this gonna pull the mini pecker? Ooh, goblins go! Oh my God, it retargeted. Because if you're money orientated, you just hire people, you, you just make the content on what is like most popular in the scene and you just edit the hell out of your videos and pay someone not much money to do it. And yeah, it's pretty soulless stuff, but that is most of YouTube these days, which, which kind of sucks. And I have no intention of doing that. It's kind of inevitable when you think about it why YouTube is heading this direction because it's like getting more and more corporate because it's like there's so much money to be made on YouTube that it doesn't make sense to not build like a huge business out of it basically. Most YouTubers these days are just massive businesses. Wait, is that gonna... Yep, bait out the mini pecker. Is he gonna scar me out of the lane? Somehow I've done more damage in the lane. Mighty Miner is still cracked. This deck has Mighty Miner and Goblins with both got nerfed and yet this deck is still broken. YouTube is so corporate these days and it's so boring. It was inevitable it was going to lead to that because the greedy corporate suits will come onto YouTube and claim it all. But it kind of sucks. And so daddy's daddy's glad to have... I, I'm actually really glad I identified that pretty early I'd say in my life because I could be grinding towards another goal like I don't know a different channel where it's all 1 HP. Are you freaking kidding me dude? Oh my god, if I lose to this hog, I'm gonna be so tilted. But I could be grinding to another channel, for another channel that I have no interest in thinking I'm gonna be finding some fulfillment, but I actually, I, I'm like aware of what I like now. I feel like this series is kind of like the cultivation of everything coming together, where it's it's Clash, which is what I came up on. It's got like the, the, the thumbnails of me holding the phone, which is like the first successful innov innovative thing that I actually came up with that works for me. And so people know it's me playing Clash Royale and it's what I, it's like what I started with. And I'm also, it's like, I, it's like what I, I'm doing what I started with as well, but with more knowledge now and a bit of purpose. And that's really fulfilling to me. Daddy likes that. Um, but yeah, I, I genuinely believe you can grow. I just don't know how, like the, ne what the next thing is, like what the next stage is. Cause I like making these minimal editing videos, but I also do like editing sometimes. Um, and so I'm wondering what the natural progression of this channel is after. Okay. Can I activate King? Oh, I'm going to no, I spirit and cycle after the, like I do a lot of these types of videos and I'll probably continue doing these types of videos because I really do like making them and I feel like it grows quite a strong audience. Um, then what is the natural progression of that? Because what is the next thing after that? 
in a lot of games, like for example, a lot of people were talking about Techno Technoblade in the comments of yesterday's video. He did Sky Wars and then it evolved into like SMPs and other elements of Minecraft. So I'm wondering like, what is the next thing? I mean, there could be some Clash Royale update that could change everything. There could be something naturally that just happens on, I don't know, YouTube on my channel. I don't, I don't know, but I can't really rely on luck. I need, I need somewhat of a plan. And so I'm, at least I know how to play the YouTube game now, because if you're clueless on how to, how YouTube works and how the algorithm works and how to thumbnail and title and how to keep a video entertaining then, and you don't have like initial, an initial audience. Cause I feel like the hardest part of YouTube is probably getting like your first, I think the first 10,000 subscribers is so hard. By the way, 30,000 subscribers hype on this channel, but yeah. Get, figuring out what the next thing is, it's nice to have a plan, but you can't really predict the future. And so I feel like I just gotta, I just gotta keep going no matter what. Cause I, I do enjoy doing this. And so it's not like a massive burden. Although if this is my only thing to do for the day, like sit down and record a commentary. Yeah, I have like a standard I wanna hold myself to. So it's not like the easiest thing in the world. It is not the hardest thing in the world either. I have this like constant feeling where I like, I feel like I could do more, you know what I mean? And I hate that feeling because it's like with the gym. If you go to the gym and you have a really hard workout or you do a ton of studying at home, whatever situation I can make this relatable to, and you have a really good stay, day studying and you know you worked hard in your mind, then it's hard to keep that up every day. And knowing that you have to work to that same level of intensity every day puts you off wanting to do it again the next day. I think I heard like an Elon Musk quote about that as well. It's like, you find the, I don't know what it was. It was like, find the easiest way to do the same thing every day or something like that. And it's so true. I, when I was going to the gym a lot or when I was doing homework at school a lot, I made it as easy as possible. I was like, I'm going to do the minimum. I'm going to do the bare minimum. Like the mindset is I'm going to do one weight when I get to the gym. That's all I'm going to do. Just one weight. That's the only expectation. So if I do anything above one weight, I've already exceeded my expectations. And so it makes you get in the gym and it makes it kind of fun in your, in your mind, because then you, you want to, you're obviously going to do more than one weight and then you feel better about what you had planned. Not only that, but you can also end at any time. So if you're really like, obviously there's going to be some days where you're really enjoying it and some days where you are just not wanting to work out or study or whatever. And so on those days you can just do, unless you've got like finals the next day and then you're screwed for studying or, you know, you've got the big, you got a massive body lifting competition the next day that you need to train for and you're screwed otherwise. Well, to be fair, you should have done practice studying and weightlifting. I don't really know if there's any Arnold Schwartz in the, in the, in the comments right now or any, you know, the rocks, but anyway, you can leave at any time on those days or you can stop at any time and that will motivate you to keep doing it because if there's one thing I've learned in my life, Kidley Winks, consistency beats intensity every time. If you're always going way too hard at the gym, if you're always going way too hard with whatever you're doing, you're going to burn out and you're probably not going to be able to do it every day for the next five years. But if you just do a little bit, I've seen these like analogies, I've seen these uh, diagrams and like drawings of these dudes climbing a ladder. One, one guy is climbing the mini steps every day and the other guy's climbing these massive steps. And there's like six massive steps or six massive things he needs to climb. And the other guy is climbing with like a hundred mini ones. And in my mind, I'm like, why wouldn't I do the big ones? Then I can just get more done every day, but you will just burn out. It, it's just, it does happen. And when you do burn out or you do miss a day, it affects your mentality so bad because you're like, oh, I missed a day. It's not even a big deal that you missed a day. It probably doesn't matter at all. If you miss one day, it doesn't matter at all. But in your mind, you're like, fuck, oh, I missed a day. Now I'm one day behind. Now I'm like, if I go to the gym the next day or if I do some studying the next day, I'm like, I'm already behind. I need to catch up. And that really messes with your head. And that's why it's so important just to be consistent, even if it's doing one thing. Cause even if you, you do one, one rep, one like hour of studying, one minute of studying, you can be like, oh, at least I kept the cycle alive or I kept the, the streak going. And that makes things so easier. But anyway, that's all for today, my choppers. Hopefully we uh, had a good discussion, but uh, there was something I was gonna say. Oh yeah, now that I have a few of these videos, I can end screen some of them at the end. So I guess click here if you wanna watch me 
complain about not being fulfilled in my life, okay? Subscribe, my choppers.